when you eat like fight week is a little bit like uh do you have to like restrict do you pretty yeah eat, like, I, eat, uh, I don't eat like carbs i mean yeah i don't eat carbs or like no sodium no fruits like everything like super bland until you know once you make the way then then you can go re- out you yeah, can do what you do on. damn do you ever work with a dietitian or anything for making weight or you can my do last it, fight you've been doing on your own. oh really my last fight i did oh yeah. nice how was that did you feel the difference or anything or? yeah because I, I kept she was able to like give me like a list of what i could eat and what i can't eat and yeah. um, like how my macros are so i just followed that and you know i was able to make weight easy and i felt like healthy yeah, 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 for sure. I have a lot of my friends that like in the UFC now, and they all have like this, the fight dietitian, mm. and he goes with them on fight week, and then like he has all, he gets all their food prepped for them all throughout the week, and then after weigh-ins, they all like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, I figure that's like I wonder how many guys are doing that like uh, at the outside of the UFC and stuff, yeah. you know? Because I know a lot of guys is, don't know like it's hard for a lot of people when starting out making weight, and a lot of people do things kind of crazy making weight, especially in the beginning, you know? Yeah. So I always wonder like. Um, at the like under ten fights, like what are people doing? Especially like yeah. since I moved back to Miami, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always wonder, dog. Cause the thing is, and here, like, um, where do you how do you go with? Do you use sauna or do you use like bathtub or So my last three fights I've never I haven't used a sauna. Like I've learned how to do it now, make weight without a sauna, but I do cut like twenty pounds. Okay, you know, yeah. So and I don't but I found out like my way to do it, I don't need to use a sauna. Okay. I, how do you like you like sauna? So you rather do it, you rather work it off than sauna it? So like it's just once I change my diet. I already lose like uh, like ten pounds doing nothing. Like I can rest the whole week and I'll lose ten pounds. And the last like ten pounds, like I either like run it off for an, like an hour, and then the last the day of the weigh in, I'll lose like five with either like a pads with with some no no. Suit, I, um, I usually do like a bath, a bath for bath. Like Boom, 30, that's the best way yeah, they say. You know? I do a thirty minute bath and I lost like four pounds in my last fight and like that. And I made weight. Yeah, that's how everybody's doing it now. Like a uh, bathtub. I didn't know that when I used to do the bath back in the day, I didn't know you're not supposed to have it that hot, dog. So I used yeah. to have it like steaming hot and it would just be like burning my skin. Up, no. like, ah! You know, it was just like, it was more like uh, taking the pain than taking yeah, the no. heat, right? <laughs> no, yeah, not that hot. But then I realized you can just keep it at a good temperature and, you, and it yeah. will fly off like yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, dog. Once I started doing bathtub, it's a game changer. Yeah. There's just some misconceptions, but yo, bathtub and then uh, then mummy up yeah. after. You know, the mummy does good, too. You do the mummy style. Yeah. Like, I mean, I haven't had to because usually I just do one tub session. Oh, boom, and, I and you're ready to go. Yeah. And that one session, I lost four pounds. 30 minutes. I just sit in the tub, and I lost four pounds. But I sweat easy, so yeah, that's what it helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get lucky with that. Yeah, some people are like natural sweaters, dog. Yeah. That, like, you can just be like, yeah, I have some friends that's like they know. For, I think because I'm real lean, it's, I know that it gets hard for me like the last three to four. Yeah. Know, for bantam weight. For bantam weight, <laughs> it's crazy, dog. I've never done bantam weight with what I know now with like the with the nutritionists and everything like all the new diets and the re- recovery yeah but um but yeah band weight used to be crazy i would love to do how i would feel right now going back to band and weight but i'm too old for that shit dog. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> yeah have you ever fought at 45 i tried twice as an okay. amateur yeah and i couldn't make it like yeah the closest i got to was 148 but that was amateur i mean i don't know if i could do it now but i've, I've talked to the nutritionists to think it's uh it wouldn't work in my favor because I'd have to lose a lot of more muscle mass, and I don't. I don't think I feel the same. And your style is like a, a very, pressure yeah. grinding style, where you want to be strong, dog. Yeah. You want to be the plen- yeah. You see, I agree with that. Yeah. Um, my theory is not anti cutting weight now. Like, yeah. I'm going like a little bit on that for a little bit, especially like um, I just started coaching recently, and I'm gonna if I have guys, I'm telling them like, yo, try not to cut, focus on cutting weight, yeah. especially in the beginning when you're first fighting. There's already so many nerves and stuff to worry about. Yeah. And it's a cut mad weight too. It's just like extra pressure, you know. Yeah. No, for sure. And then what's weird is um, in fighting, dog, I feel like you need your, like, when you cut weight, for sure you diminish a piece of yourself. No, oh, yeah. You know? For sure. And you're going into the biggest competition of your life, so. Yeah. yeah. No, after a weight cut, I could tell, like, when I try, you, they've done that too, like, little researchers, like, um, after the weight cut, you're not the same. You're not as strong. You're not as, like, uh, conditioned. You lose a little bit. But, you know, that's what you got to do for the sport. But that's the thing. But then, <laughs> you're, yeah, yeah, exactly. 100%. And... Um, everybody's probably doing it. So yeah. a lot of times just fighting the guy and it's like, y'all just seeing who can get the closest to death and perform better. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want, I wonder if the UFC would ever, I don't think they'll, they'll ever change weight classes or anything yeah. like that, you know? Yeah. I like the way like the one does it. The 